Let's feel the power of sports. So this one um, is called um, the Shake Out a Knee uh, competition for underprivileged children. Uh, it's a World Cup for under 15 football players. And um, coordinator of Team Nigeria, Mr. Usman Chata, uh, says the John Otaka team. So uh, they have persons that come together and say, support this kid, support this kid so uh, we can bring out talents. The John Otaka team. Uh, they are fully prepared for the championship, which begins from the 12th to the 17th of August this year in Bulgaria. It's a competition for underprivileged children in your ball. It, it's wonderful. It, it's, it's very wonderful. And John Utaka, great guy. Um, just very um, pleasing to hear he's involved with this kind of um, fantastic, fantastic development. It's great to see that these people also get a chance, give them give them hope that they can also go out there and be involved in sports. And it's just wonderful, and I'm sure they feel a lot better than if they were just sitting down doing nothing. So it's just great, excellent exposure at this level to to also go experience competitiveness with with, with other kids. So Someone said wonderful, that was awesome, awesome. So instead of you saying, "Oh, look at that child, he's not doing anything." Create something for yeah, him. Exactly. It, yeah. it's, it's about the creating something because once you create something, naturally an attraction comes. People, people the underprivileged will look at things like this and say, wow, that's an opportunity. I can go out there yeah. and be useful. I can channel my energy to the right thing. So it's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you look at most of most of the successful footballers we have all over the world, most of them are not from rich homes. You know, yeah. they never they, 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 so it was somebody that gave them the opportunity change their lives. and change their lives and change the life of their generation as well. So it's really, really, you know, very, look very... At most of the guys from the streets in America, Absolutely. they turn out to be... So, Deontay Wilder. <laughs> Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson. Tyson. You know, turned out to homeless be at some point. And as Senior Bong said, as you have said, I will be seen over and over. They have an enabling environment. Yeah. It empowers them to do more. That was the first edition that took place in Egypt in 2015. The head coach of Team Nigeria, Mr. Uh, Shafif Ajibola, says the team is set to join Morocco, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, and Egypt to compete in the 16 Nation World Cup, which is aimed at helping under privileged children and orphans in communities all over the world by playing football it's sweet so sweet i love it let's go get some more talking points from this one we'll be right back i'm nigeria will be participating in the status quo as you can see they are being in camp for the past one week we are trying to move them to minanaja state for a closed camp because they are, most of them are just coming on break from their various schools so we want to work on their fitness to see how far we can go the boys are in very high spirit knowing that nigeria didn't do well in the senior work of not up to the stage we are expecting so they are trying to see maybe winning the World Cup for Nigeria. I'm preparing for four, four five a side uh, competition to be played in Bulgaria. Uh, it's for less privileged, uh, le less privileged uh, children across the globe. It's a World Cup competition, precisely. So that's it. Feel the power of sports right there. We love it. And these are the sort of things yeah. we should encourage. Ex International should get into. Not everybody can be at the NFF. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, or get, gather a team to go to. There are a lot of. And this is five aside football. Yeah. We also have the Mini Football Association of Nigeria now. They are doing a lot of things. They went to Libya. How do everybody can play the main football? There are a lot of ways you can empower people. Yeah. And this is one. Yeah. And when you look at it, most of them are actually spread all over the country. They are from poor homes. You know, and you Look at the likes of Daniel Amokachi from, you know, Benue State. Look at the likes of Samson Siasia from Ajigule. What, what these people should be looking at, these are well-established stars, is going back to the community where they grew up yeah. and start doing competitions to develop talents, because there are still talents out there, to give you two are from that dis disadvantaged background that they came from, an opportunity to showcase their talents, you know, and grow as well. Give the bubble to, to just be looking up and be looking at uh, getting to the FA and trying to look, you know, get into a position of authority where they can get extra codes and i mean it's not the best i know yeah. i know that, i love that story uh, it's called the underprivileged children world cups it's called Startup, and it's for uh it's lovely it's for players under the ages of 14 and 15 which is still at the grassroots so that they can start playing football very early and who knows and who knows us and i was about <laughs> saying that who knows uh, who knows what a story would yeah. be that in in another eight years 
a player from this competition would be playing at the World Cup in Mexico and the United States. So what a story that would be. It would be absolutely unbelievable because it would go a long way in, 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 in rewriting the history yeah. books. And I, I think it's just wonderful just to give these guys a renewed hope that there's something there for you. There's some, an opportunity there for you to be sweet, to be a sweet star. So well done to everyone involved in this. I want to wish Team Nigeria all the best when they get to Bulgaria. Now let's talk about the professional football that we know about. Um, Joseph Malcolm has signed for Barcelona. Uh, but he, he was to go to Roma, oh but I, I was thinking this guy is a... <laughs> the moment he had Barca. He didn't wait for the Luna. <laughs> It's, it's just funny. It's it just, just, funny. just moved immediately. It's, it's funny also because <laughs> Roma had announced on their website yeah. on Monday yeah. <laughs> that they had agreed a deal with with Bordeaux. Bordeaux to yeah. get him on board. His mother flew to Rome to, to Rome, was waiting for him in Rome. <laughs> the fans of Roma were waiting for him at the airport. <laughs> Unveiling. He was <laughs> Look supposed at that. to fly. Yeah. And then Barcelona come through. Yeah. And when Barcelona puts the call across, oh. you do not think twice. Yeah. And even even the club border would have been. No, no, you, 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 just, you say, okay, let me think about it. I said, just wait, Messi wants to say hi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was done. The discussion just ended there and then. That was really a discussion. Uh, because, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he's Brazilian, he's yeah. Barcelona, you know, and the money is good. Uh, I mean, come on. Uh, to, to play with Messi no and play with Suarez yeah. and you know, Coutinho, yeah. it's an absolute privilege. Yeah, and he's is. just 21. Look he's that. a young player, so he's thinking about his development. I want better ways to develop yourself than to play with Black and Messi. He was kissing. He kissed that bad guy. Yeah. 50 <laughs> Is <laughs> it mom live wrong? <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> and, and Roma are looking at the possibility of a legal action because uh, I understand. No chance. You know they've actually no booked uh, the I private jets them, taking really. down. You know, and so. <laughs> And uh, that's football, uh, football for you right there. Uh, wrote to me on um, on Twitter. We got your message. We're also tired. It says I'm tired of listening to this same topic every year. Wow. The best thing to do is uh, is for the youth to go on strike until the organization is <laughs> restructured. No, they won't gain. I, I just hope that yes, the yes, talents yes, that will come from this, you know, particular experience yes. would, would sound a new beginning for Nigeria. Rotimi says they should go on strike. <laughs> and when there is no talent, let's see what they will administer. Come on, Rotimi, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah, there must be a way out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And we're winning in some ways. We're not saying it's been total failure. We're just saying that the same things keep happening. Blessing Akagba is a success story. Yeah, she is. Success story. If you look at Aaron O'Cordy and how he started, he is a success story. So just sometimes you ask, what has the country done? Yes, yeah, stroke of good fortune. Yeah. Sometimes it's a stroke of good fortune and an incredible determination from the athletes. The I don't think we've done something. Um, the federations gonna come out and take credit, even though you could say we could have done well. But so most of the times, it is incredible talent, it's incredible ability from the from the athletes themselves, the individuals who are involved in the game itself. It's it's, it's just wonderful. But you 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 wish that. It was a lot more concerted in terms of the yeah. effort. Yeah, and you I just wish that it was a lot more concerted. I like what Taekwondo is doing. They were, you know, they're doing quite well. They were able to, so far, they've won four golden bronze medals. Mm. And I love the way Chiku Meri J is motivating the lads. You. You know, they know that he's a nice technical director that is functioning, not like what we have in athletics. You know, and, and I just love the, 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 the process they are taking, they're taking them through, the exposure they are giving them. I'm sure in the coming he years, he was part of his, his father so helped him we, a lot yeah. in, you know, making sure that next. So when was we keep saying that put the right person yeah, in, absolutely. in these federations, mm -hmm. you go to some state offices for sports. I'm not joking. You cry. You bring down and cry. You won't even see persons. You just see one lady and a and a table Those are the and a that we are taking up. That paper is to write down the names of people that came <laughs> to visit. That's the story. So oh Let's just take, take this message and then we'll wrap up the show. Um, he, uh, Ola, Ola, uh, Oyebo Day on Twitter says, The NSF crisis won't end as far as those running the football affairs have little or no interest in the development of sports in Nigeria. That's, just, that's what I just yeah, said. The I minister said, needs to defect. Uh, thank you so much, Joseph, for your <laughs> time. I don't know what you're talking about. In your book, thank you so much. This guy is, is behind. So I'm talking about Malcolm. 
You see, what football does sometimes is crazy. Thank you yeah. so much for your time to you wherever you are in the world watching Sports Tonight on Channels TV. Keep talking to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports. That's the show for the team, the ever reliable sports team. I'm Austin Okonapan. In everything you do, remember to keep talking sports. Bye for now.